The Winter Contingency 3 event trailer just went live, guys, and we just did a watch party on it, and it looks freaking awesome. So in this video, we're going to dive into everything you need to know about the Winter Contingency 3, the event pass, and everything that we saw within the trailer, because the trailer showcased some things we haven't seen before, so I want to dive deeply into that. If you guys enjoyed this type of informational videos, make sure you tap like, helps out the video, make sure to subscribe to not be part of that 80% who are watching the channel who are not subscribed, so you can stay up to date with everything going on with all those details. So the first thing we're going to look at here is the Ice Fisher coating. This is an instant purchase bonus when it comes to the Operation Pass, meaning you'll drop about 500 credits to get this coating. But what it also does, it makes the Operation Pass permanent. Unlike the traditional Battle Passes, which are just permanent to stay within the game forever, uh, Operation Passes are temporary. Like right now with Combined Arms, by the time the Winter Contingency event comes in, if you have not finished your Combined Arms Pass, it will completely go away. Yes, it's FOMO, but it's a way for 3 for 3 to drive a little bit extra revenue for the game because, well, the shop and the online multiplayer is the only thing keeping the lights on with Prey Halo Infinite. This coating looks freaking awesome. I didn't buy into the last Operation Pass because I thought the little bonus wasn't really worth it. I knew I was going to grind out the free 20 tiers anyways. So I might actually jump into this one just because, well, this coating looks freaking sick, guys. And plus, I'm definitely going to be playing enough to get the 20 tiers anyways, but I want that coating. So let's, uh, let's check out the other stuff they have in here as well. Uh, we also have another thing where you earn within the pass here, the win winter mint green coating. This is a very holiday theme kind of stuff, right? The, the, you know, the green camo with like the red undersuit, but this could definitely pass for just like non-holiday coatings as well. So it's a little more functionality to it, which I really enjoy. Uh, the previous winter contingency coatings that we have were very much like that's the winter contingency coating, the holiday stuff. But this one, if you do it right, I think this could work out really well for just like an average coating. You also have the frost glaze visor here, which I mean, come on, that looks amazing, right? Definitely some sweet holiday theme stuff. And again, the big showcase for here, the coating for the gift wrapped uh, coating here, which makes it just look like, well, it's Santa Claus. That's what it is, you know. You also do earn this entire armor set as well for free within the past, so you don't have to buy into it or anything like that. All the different parts you see showcase here. I love the fact right here that when you looked at the gloves, it has like little, little jingle bells on the, the hand, which I thought was hilarious right here. If it makes the sound, uh, I doubt it would, but if it makes the sound, that would be even more hilarious right there. <laughs> and also, this was, I thought, a little bit of a letdown, the icy vein coating. When I first saw this, I'm like, okay, they show all the gray coatings, and then they burst, burst it, merge it together, and boom, the cool new coating. Like, no, this is the coating right here. It's like gray and like a light grayish blue. Kind of meh. You earn that within the, the event pass for free as well when it comes to the whole thing there. Uh, some of the shop items, you know, they're going to do some shop item stuff, right? This is actually kind of fun, though. Like, you have, like, the Christmas lights around the feet and wrists. It looks like you have, like, a candy cane bit customization when it comes to, like, the gravel shot and things like that. So, some pretty good, pretty good shop item stuff. Like, the coating, eh, I can go up without. But it seems like that might be an entire bundle that you probably have to buy into to get everything you want with it, which... I wish 3 4 3 would just make it so that you can buy individual items and not have to buy bundles, but I get the idea behind it as well. Uh, this coating looks pretty sweet, right? This looks like sharp, like just wrapping paper you would wrap any present with. That's pretty hilarious. This visor looks awesome. We get a better shot with it, better within the trailer. The blood jumper coating, I mean, it's it's real man on that one. We get a first look at the slide effect that comes with it, kind of a cool like wrapping paper, kind of like glittery kind of effect to the whole thing. It's pretty cool. We also have some holiday cheer weapon models. It looks like it's going to be for the uh, battle rifle, the rocket launcher that we see right here, and also the pistol. You see we get like a cool little bow attached to it and all that kind of stuff with it. We see it also here with it comes to the sidekick as well. We do have one for the battle rifle. It's like a big obnoxious kind of looking one. It's kind of hilarious. It has like a snow plow in the front of it. Really fun uh, models that they put in with the whole thing as well. My favorite part of the whole thing, the chill out death effect. We just, you just turn people into snowmen. Like that's just hilarious. Like that's, you, you might shut up and take my money kind of moment right there. Cause I think it's fine. That absolutely hilarious. But yeah, that's the entire thing that we got right there. My biggest concern about this whole thing is with the snow map, right? If it's just live fire for the snow map, it's going to get real boring, real re repetitive, real quick. Uh, we only saw live fire within this trailer. So I wonder if we're going to get more than just this map for the snowy effect kind of thing. 
or if we're gonna get any kind of new gameplay mechanics or like you know maybe super fiesta on snow maps kind of like we had back in halo 5 uh, we don't really know it didn't showcase anything else besides this uh, we will know more tomorrow when it comes to the actual release of the event uh, they're gonna be releasing a blog going with over all the details of the whole thing which i will make a video about here on the channel and also when the event does go live i will be live streaming so make sure you subscribe to catch when that live stream does go up as soon as it goes live guys we'll be jumping in playing with the community and having some fun and just enjoying the holiday spirit and all that good stuff in between Hello, guys, if you missed my previous video showcasing right here about everything that happens with the event pass and all the extra bits of customization that were not shown within this trailer, check out this video right here. Thank you all for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.